glorious autumn weather prevails and they're racing in the first on cup day and precipice is the first one out of the stalls and goes straight to the lead booting up on the inside however is pearl dior they were being followed by riverina bell who'll balance up third on the inside of tango paradise my name is mcginty was caught a little wide and the rider elected to drop in and last of all was integrate heading to the side at the 800 meter mark and it's pearl dior going through pearl dior has taken the front running for matt carl leads by a length and a quarter to precipice the favorite second they were followed by on the inside third riverina bell and then going up on the outside three deep my name is mcginty tango paradise occupies the center and integrate is last of all the field are bunching as they race to the apex of the turn in the first on cup day it's pearl dior pearl dior leads precipice around the corner my name's mcginty with the big bald face strides up on the outside but precipice has gone to the lead at the 200 my name's mcginty and integrate are starting to run on john score sitting down on precipice over on the inside pearl dior is fighting back okay precipice and pearl dior pearl dior's not giving up precipice is not responding pearl dior coming again precipice desperately ridden on the outside favorite will get in but only just precipice precipice got in and scored by only a narrow margin to pearl dior in behind them my name's mcginty being followed next across the line by integrate and riverina bell last across the line was tango paradise Oh, narrow win there by uh, John Scores by, uh, aboard uh, Precipice for Barbara Joseph, and it's good that she's notched up her first in the first here at Wagga. Two, three, and we'll have a photo for third placing. Now ahead to Pakenham for uh, race number three. Glenn Ross at 28, Meteor 61, no third for number one, my name's McGinty. The Quinella 1250, trifecta $35.50. Shirt sleeves rolled up. Busy day for the gateman. Light on. Red light set to go. Racing now. Cantari on the inside sprung the gate nicely and jumped away as any other runner. Our count Bassie was showing pace as well. Now when they'd settled down, Spun Gold is spearing up as racing third, followed by his favourite state control. He's out a little deep, Cassidy. He's trying to get in on the outside of Talak and they're followed by Recess. After a length or so further back then came Arda Shea racing with Wrangler and Mr Mouse. Second last well back in the field then was uh, Impatient. And last of all is Manabol racing past the 700. On the inside, the leader is Cantari, a half a lengthy advantage to our Count Bassey. Holding third is Spun Gold, and fourth and still out three wide is the favourite, moving up there, state control. On its inside, going forward then was Wrangler, and further back is Recess as they turn the corner. Talak is over on the inside, impatient Mr Mouse and Manabold are well back with Artiche wide. They're at the top of the straight, 300 metres to go, and it's now our Count Bassey. Our Count Bassey and Spun Gold starting to come clear, but Cassidy has not yet popped the question to the favourite. He does now. It's responding. State control on the outside is getting out after Spun Gold. Spun Gold and State Control. But State Control, he wants to lay in, but he's going to go home just a little too well. And he got home. State Control. Out Count Bassey has got second. Close up third, Spun Gold. They were followed by Impatient and further back to Ardashe Wrangler. And then Talak followed by Recess. Well back was Mr Mouse. Kantari has knocked up near the tail of the field and back with it was Manabold. And number one, the favourite there, State Control saluting. Jimmy Cassidy aboard uh, gives him the nudge at the last 200 and sprints home over number six and ten. Now, packing him at race number four. It's over the... Four Looking at something, but now he's advancing to his platform. Great Southern Energy, class two. Third of the day at Wagga Wagga. They're ready to go. She is pop, not quite right. Racing now, jumped away reasonably. The exception was Comic Strip, who missed the start. Dion Ian is slow back near the tail, and please charge is slowly away today. There's a good hustle for the front. Dragons return, and King Arana down near the inside. Night before dawn got out well, and Look and Ponder pushed up to be fourth or fifth the outside. They're followed then by Cheers Pop and driving through Mighty Amber into a good position. Please charge up along the inside of Stella Dioro. Juggling time is trapped very wide. Wage is in the middle, and they're being followed further back then by. Gerber, Dragons return, deal done. Well back along the inside, Dion Eon, and last of all is Comic Strip. They're in the straight, please charge. Is well back as they come past the 300, where King Arana, the leader, in front, Dragons return, goes up, please charge, getting a run on the fence. Cheers pop in the middle. They were being followed further back on the outside of those by night before dawn. Look and Ponder's not in it. Dragons return, got to the front on the outside. Boxing back well, King Arana. Dragons return on the outside. King Arana lifting, King Arana lifting, and got in, I reckon. Yeah, the 
favourites lifted. King Arana to beat Dragon's Return. Tight for third. Night before dawn. Please charge. He was slowly away. Cheers pop. Dion Eon behind them, followed by Wage and Mighty Amber. Mamsel Venus was in the pack. Look and ponder. Never in it today. Then Juggling Time, who raced wide from Gerber Wage. Well back. Deal done. And Comic Strip, who missed the start, is last of all. There's one down. Now the rider has fallen from the winner, Kim Bell. At the crossing where they come on to work at track work, the ambulance will get around there quickly. Kim Bell is down and I think this horse has just won. I don't know whether he ducked into that crossing region area, but there's a rider down from the winner. Well, I think it's the winner, number 12. And it is King Arana. Number officially in the frame. King Arana has won and the rider down at the crossing. Where's the horse? Now, down near the 1600, the clerks of the course are assembling and there's a couple of other riders there that might help out. So let's hope this is not a serious injury. I just looked up and saw the, uh, the jockey falling to the ground and I don't know why. 12, King Arana. $3.80 and $2.70. Yeah, he shied at the crossing. He shied at the crossing and cannoned into the rail and has the riders up on his feet. So there's, it's Kim Bell. He's OK. He's on his feet. Well, that's great news. Thanks, Alan. Yes, uh, King Arana there just shying at the crossing and uh, Kim taking a bit of a tumble there but it's good to have the ambulance on uh, on hand to make sure that they're all okay 12 19 and uh, 13 so um, gee a bit of an incident there on the third at Wagga for the guineas with uh, Genevieve a grey filly trained locally by Greg McDermott being written by Brian York to run the favorite has the inside gate she did lead most of the way to school last start at Canterbury Park in Sydney now the red light is about to come on and the field in the guineas are set at the 1600 metres. The starter has them now. They're racing in the guineas. Let it ride was very, very slow to begin. Missed it by three or four lengths and a good start saw Genevieve best away. Now there's a good hustle on. Thurible is going fast and so is Go Radar. Miss Cheviot has jumped out well and she's up second or third early. They were being followed by Shazam who races three deep is on the outside. Over on the inside there is Little Export a couple of lengths away then The Doctor's Son. They were being followed further back in the field by Twigged on Trafalgar and three lengths away Let It Ride. Down the back they go and the grey go radar has strode to the front for john scores at the 1200 inside it now 1100 to go and it's go radar a length and a half to thurible racing third on the fence is genevieve in the box seat shazam is racing fourth is one out followed by little export and they were being followed by miss chevy at two lengths away the doctor's son who races on the outside of twigged on and then further back second to last is trafalgar and last of all was let it ride 600 to run in the kendall three-year-old class six guineas the leader on the inside Side is Go Radar. Thurible is chasing hard on the outside. Genevieve is extricated. Three gallopers deep but struggles on the turn. In behind those runners, Little Export, and they're being followed further back by Shazam. And to the outside, the Doctor's Son. Genevieve now putting a mind to the shoulder of the wheel has moved up on the outside to hit the front. The Doctor's Son is coming quickly, and Shazam is through in the middle. Go Radar is fighting back on the fence. Out wide, it's the Doctor's Son. The Doctor's Son and Shazam. Genevieve can't come on. The Doctor's Son on the outside. Outside, Shazam, and coming home late, Miss Cheviot, the Doctor's son in front, one for Bede Murray. The Doctor's son got home, has won from Miss Cheviot, Shazam. Close up behind them, Trafalgar followed by Let It Ride. In behind them, Genevieve just didn't go on from Little Export, Go Radar. Further back in the race is Twig Don and Thurible, his last home in the Kendall three-year-old guineas. Lynn Beasley notches up his first win today at Wagga on number six, The Doctor's son, over 11, Miss Cheviot, and five, Shazam. And at Pakenham for race number six. It's over. You're right. Wayne Harris does know what a good thing looks like. Thanks, Nick. I've gone for two Pride Rock here. Got a great record on his home track. Good winner here last Sunday. I found it hard to go past him. I thought the dangers were number four, Inga. He's a fresh horse on the scene. He's getting yeah. a bit old now. Doesn't win that often, but he did look okay. And number nine, Von Chance. He did run second to Pride Rock here last Sunday, and uh, he's backed up okay. Pretty open race for a small field, but I'll go two, four, and nine. Yeah, record holder, Pride Rock to win. Thanks, Wayne. See you soon. Wayne Harris is numbers two, four and nine three dollars ten just easing a little bit and inga's coming in from 440 to 370 in race number five 
All righty, now they're moving in. The last couple go in for the Finnamore's Open Handicap. And this race is over the mile. Here's Alan Hull. Yards in the old language, or a half a... Uh a kilometre away from where this race is being started. The head office of Finnamore's Australia. This is the Finnamore's Open. They're all set for the Finnamore's Open handicap. Pride Rock, the favourite. Inga has been very well back to beat Pride Rock today. Just about right. Starter on the stand, well on the inside. He's just holding them momentarily. Now he comes forward, Mr Vaughan, 1,600. The Finnamore's open handicap starting adjacent to the company's Australia-wide general office and they're racing now. There's a lovely start and it's Pride Rock who beat the line out and goes to the course proper by a length. Big agent's going to be his worry as he strides up on the outside. They'll fight for the front. They were being followed by Bond Chance through to third on the outside and going forward. On the inside as well as Big Agent goes clear and around Pride Rock. Back to fifth then is Sharp Rouge being followed further back by Leopard Hunter. Inga settled up second last and in Indian file. Last of all was Sporting, down to the 1100, and Travis Creek, the apprentice boy, had no hesitation in allowing Big Agent to stride away in front. He put three lengths on Pride Rock at the 1,000. Three back, Bond Chance is third, and they were being followed two and a half astern by Well. The next galloper, one off the fence, is Sharp Rouge, covering up Leopard Hunter the rail. After two lengths, the Goulburn train performer, Inga, and last of all is Sporting, 700 out as they sweep along the side, and Big Agent is running. Big Agent and Travis Creek in front show the way. They're they're out by two and a half. Pride Rock travelling up OK second. After two and a half, Bond Chance is third. They were being followed then by Wells, Sharp Rouge, Leopard Hutter. Further back is Inga and Sporting is last of all. Heads have well and truly been swung for home and they flatten by the 400 where Pride Rock now starting to get out after the leader, Big Agent. And on the outside, little Bond Chance is warming to her ta his task as well. Well is starting to make a run, but Pride Rock, Pride Rock sprints to the lead. On the outside, coming after it, Bond Chance now. Pride Rock in front. Bond Chance is trying hard. Down the outside is Sharp Ruse. Bond Chance coming at Pride Rock. Pride Rock in front. Bond Chance and Sharp Ruse, but Pride Rock! Pride Rock got in again. Pride Rock has won it from Sharp Ruse, tight for third, resting between Sporting and Bond Chance in the middle, and they're being followed further back in the run by Inga. In behind those runners was Big Agent Well, and Leopard Hunter is back near the tail of the field. Number two notching up a double there, Pride Rock. Over number 12, Sharp Rouge and 9, Bon Chance. Tw uh, 2, 12 and 9. Packenham race number 7. Back to the tail, my fellow's hands. Shooting very, very straight so tail. far. The now the light has turned on and the uh, starter is about to uh, climb those three steps to the top of the stalls and uh, get them away. Our Cracker Jack drawn the inside, Nissan Class 3. Ready to go, Bormax well drawn. Red light on, stalls are back and they're racing now. Our Cracker Jack looked to dwell just a shade from the inside. Long, long road is slow. And Lady Rev came bouncing out of the gates with Bormax. They looked to be the first two when they'd settled down. Another couple of runners are spearing forward. Brooklyn is going up quickly. Bormax is settling up on the inside and Zab Purr is going forward. They were being followed by our Cracker Jack occupying fifth and on the inside. Now King Siama is pulling very, very hard in behind them. Nadine is wide around the outside. Accents in the middle of that group. Further back is Arata as they race along the side and they're being followed by the favourite Hollywood girl. The pump is hard at work and he's out four deep improving. Well back in the field is Long Long Road being followed by True Promise who's third to last. The top weight Riskabet is second last and Riverbend Lady looks at them all. The field are converging in a mad rush upon the home turn at the 600. Brook Lee goes up on the outside. Lady Rev shares the front with it and they're being followed by our Cracker Jack the Rail. On the outside of those is Bormack starting to get into the fight and further back to Zab Purr, whilst favourite Hollywood Girl is making her run down the middle of the track on the outside. At the 250 metre mark, it's Lady Rev the leader. On the outside, Zab Purr. In the barb, Joseph Cullors and Bormax are coming now. Zab Purr strides to the lead at the 200, starting to extend. Zab Purr in front is stretching away. It's another one for Barbara Joseph. Zab Purr. Zab Purr goes down to the line and wins from Accent or Bormax. A photo tight for the second and third. True Promise will run fourth, and they're followed in by Nadine. Risk of is next and then Riverbend Lady. Further back in the run was our Cracker Jack being followed by Lady Rev. In that group of horses, all look is further back in the race from Brooklyn. Hollywood Girl didn't come on, being followed by Erato. Well back in the field is uh, King Sayama and one of the last ones home is Long Long Road. Zab Purr for Barbara Joseph. 
seven dollars ten and three dollars seven dollars ten for Zab Purr ridden by Brian York it gives Barbara two today unfortunately only one of them counts towards the bonus the winner by Zabil from Joy Tripper Zab Purr is raced by PH Mrs BM L and Mrs G Joseph so plenty of the family sharing the spoils B and Mrs M Moore DG and Mrs LJ Myers BJ and Mrs CA Tickner or Tinker trained by Barb Joseph ridden by Brian York number 8 a second accent accent is raced by Sandy Tate and Jill Neverson of tie the knot fame ridden by Gerald Brown trained by Susan Stripe three is third Bormax by Nassapur from Easy Access, trained by Ray Lawson, Neil Payne. And there's a very happy Barbara Joseph as she not, notches up a double today so far at uh, Wagga here on number five, Zab Purr, with uh, Brian York returning to scale. Now at Yarra Glen, uh, four past the post, two and eleven dead heating for the miners there. Now head to Pakenham, race number eight. Such a pleasure, $2.10. And Didius Falco, $7.60, with Aussie Dapper at $8.60. Six is currently the favourite. Let's take a look over the page. Longer odds. Tips there from Brian, R6 to be three and two. Well, well the big one coming up next, uh, Nick Robin has a special jockey to interview. Thanks, Michelle. Welcome back to Wagga. We're getting a little bit closer to the Wagga Gold Cup and Alan Abrahams. I think we should have a chat with Alan because he's got three pretty good rides coming up here at Wagga. How are you, Al? Good to see you. Good, thanks, Nick. Yourself? Well, very well. Uh, really enjoying this marvellous carnival here at Wagga. It's always great to get here. Yeah, it's been... The weather's just stood up beautiful and it's um, been good racing. Well, you're the uh, local boy. You know every blade of grass here at Wagga. You're on our Cracker Jack. A good chance at race number six. It has got good um, Melbourne form. It's run the other day. Bendigo was very good. Mm. And um, it's probably got a good chance in the race. OK, that race is race number six at Class 3 over the uh, 1,400 metres. Now, in the cup, you're on uh, number 13, uh, Zaquita. Yeah, one of Kevin Robinson's. It, um, ran a good race the other day. It was deep, and um, um, apparently its run was very good. Where will you have the horse placed, do you think? Uh, where would you, you like to have Zaquita placed? What sort of horse is he? Oh, the cup winner usually comes from about midfield, so yeah. that would be a nice spot to nice be. Nice spot to be, yeah, at about the 1,000. Yeah, and probably just work into the race nice. And in the final race, uh, you've got a ride in uh, in race number eight, and that is number 15, Dazzle Dancer, a last start winner at, uh, at Holbrook. Yeah, she led all the way that day, and um, while this is up in class, she's yeah. got a chance in Soft the race. win there at Holbrook. Well, good luck this afternoon, Alan. You haven't won a Wagga Cup before, have you? No, I haven't, but it's It'd always be nice to, uh, first, yeah. Well, before the end of the, uh, end of the century. That'd be lovely. <laughs> good on you, mate. Good on you. Well done. Alan Abrahams, always nice to talk to you, mate. See you soon. Good luck in the Cup. And uh, we'll have a chat with uh, other jockeys and a few other personalities uh, before we close things up here today. Thanks, Michelle. Back to you. Poor Alan. Um, Nick giving him a hard time there about uh, actually saluting before the end of the century. He's a tough man, that Nick Robin. Well, we're up to Gunnedah dividends now on race number six, ten to four. Seven Torbellino, six fifteen to six ten. There'll be a little bit of money for Jim Cassidy there, uh, for the punters around Australia following uh, Jim's rides here this afternoon, uh, and it's just in uh, from six fifty to six dollars ten. Number eight Goodwood at nine dollars and ninety cents. Uh, it's fairly steady in the call. The riders will be mounting up very shortly here. There's one hundred and fifty-four thousand dollars in the wind pool already. The outsiders are nine through to uh, eighteen here. There are uh, plenty of horses that uh, aren't given much of a chance by the punters and if any of those horses from nine through to about number 18 can win there'll be some big dividends declared number 14 on your screen now is Monterey Bay for Ken Callaghan there is number 11 Marge say it's the outsider of the cup about 250 to 1 for Andy Bloomfield it did win here two weeks ago in fact two starts ago on an open handicap over the mile number 10 about to be mounted Sir Knight for Matthew Carl Sir Knight looks nice and relaxed a nice type by At Talak a uh, Melbourne Cup winner back in the mid 80s and uh, this horse did win two starts ago at Wangaratta. Richard Fryer is the trainer at Corowa. So we're looking forward to it. It's going to be a marvellous race. And uh, the jockeys are mounting up. And there goes number 18. And that is, uh, let me pass, Greg Farrow just jumping on board, giving the horse a, an affectionate pat as he uh, jumps on board. And uh, that association 
uh, for Greg Farrow and Greg McDermott will be uh, a very happy one if they're able to get home in the cup. So there it is, Michelle. Zaquita makes its way around the, uh, the circle a few times before heading onto the track for Alan Abrahams. It's a pretty exciting time. We'll take it back to you and return here for the 1999 Wagga Gold Cup. Meantime, Gunnedah Race 7, which is the uh, Gold Cup prelude. And we will head out there. Here's Alan for the call. Now Sweeney is in. And we're set for a start. The light is on. Box one fills exposed the favourite. Set. Racing now, Phil's exposed on the inside, fairly into stride. To the top seven or eight horses. Yeah, any one of those could win on looks. Very house like picking your lotto numbers. I've gone for number three, Torre. He couldn't fault him. Good good record here on his home track and uh, probably deserves to be favourite. He'll get the run of the race, be very hard to beat. Thought the dangers would be number one, Ancient City. He prayed it very well. An awkward barrier, but he'll come in a bit. I thought uh, number seven looked okay, Torbellino. Did run, uh, place him behind time. They're not our best horse in Australia. Uh, Anything outside those three? Yeah, probably number two, Ronzino looked okay and count scenario but you can't have them all <laughs> you've done pretty well so far Wayne uh, great scene though isn't it here this huge crowd and uh, great atmosphere here at Wagga I'm led to believe it's up nearly 2,000 on last year's uh, attendance so it's, it's great for the Wagga club and go get yourself uh, a spot somewhere mate and uh, we look forward to seeing you after the cup thanks, Dick. thanks Wayne Wayne Harris's numbers there 3 1 and 7 the top one is Ancient City at six dollars and forty cents Glenn Boss is ready to uh, uh, get that horse home for victory today in this uh, cup race for uh, Colin Alderson there's the uh, market on some of the outsiders. Ron Zeno at 12, Toro at $4.20 and steady in favourite. It's about 3 to 1 the field here. 28 for Brave Chief, Sergris at $14, 13 for number 6, Count Scenario. Jimmy Cassidy on board, number 7, Torbellino at $5.50. That's in from 6.10, 9.40 uh, for number 8, Goodwood. And the rest are at pretty lengthy odds to win the big one of the afternoon. It's the 1999 Wagga Gold Cup, sponsored by Ozstar. Our good friends at Ozstar. And uh, very much looking forward to uh, Alan Hull's call of the big one of the day. So let's take you there to Alan Hull. They're pretty close for a start. The blue light is flashing. There's about three or four to move in. So he's for his call of the 19. 99 Ozstar Wagga Wagga Gold Cup. Here's Alan Hull. 2,000 metres, a good straight run to the first turn at the Beckwith Street side at the 1600. And a huge crowd full of anticipation. Marge, you say the Tumut Galloper goes up. Rainbow Hunter, the local, trained out at Urin Quinty. Where? Urin Quinty. A little uh, hamlet on the outskirts of Wagga Wagga. And he's locked away. And the last one is going to be Ancient City and the field are set. Ancient City taken to the outside by Glenn Boss, the starter. Mr Bob Bourne from Gundagai is advancing across to the rostrum. Three or four uh, gatemen are up with one down near the inside. I think it may be Sergris. Chance of fair, last year's winner. Maybe having his last race today. He stood well. Starter Mr Bob Bourne turns on the red light. They are all set. They are ready. The gates crash back. They are away in the Odd Star Wagga Wagga Gold Cup and down near the inside. Count Scenario began well. Sergris got away okay and so too did Let Me Pass and Toro. Toro is five deep making the run down the first 200. On his outside is Brave Chief as they settle down. They were being followed by Count Scenario. Zoquita getting back into the field as they make the run to the first turn. Monterey Bay is going up out wide. Further back in the race then came Rainbow Hunter being followed on the inside by Torbellino. The next one then is Ron Zeno as they head to the Beckwith Street side. Out three wide raced Mac Joey in close proximity with stable mate Goodwood. Well back as booted, followed by Marge Say as they head along the side. Tonka is well back in the field and the top weight Ancient City is last of all. It is Toro. Toro bursts to the lead at the 1200 metre mark in the cup. Shows up by a length to Brave Chief racing second. Sir Gris is third on the inside. Monterey Bay moves up but is out three wide around. Let me pass. The pace is solid. After a length and a half after Count Scenario, followed by Sir Knight Chance of Fear. Rainbow Hunter striding up out wide, three deep around Zaquita. In behind those runners then, further back in the field as they head along the side is Tonka. It's being followed by Ron Zeno. Mac Joey is starting to make ground. Well back, Marge, say boot it. And Ancient City is back near the tail of the field. Torbellino is midfield as they sweep down towards the 600. In the Gold Cup and Brave Chief on the outside and Toro. They are the first pair as they swing for home. Rainbow Hunter and Monterey Bay are both making runs in behind them Sergris and they were being followed
followed further back then by Let Me Pass. They swing for home on the inside. Toro tackled immediately by Brave Chief and Monterey Bay and Rainbow Hunter running a terrific race for a bolter. Rainbow Hunter burst up on the outside. Now getting into the clear is Ron Zeno and Goodwood. Toro can't go on. Goodwood coming right down the middle and Torbellino out wide. Goodwood coming down the middle on the inside. Ron Zeno and Rainbow Hunter but it's going to be Goodwood's Wagga Wagga Gold Cup. It's Goodwood. Goodwood racing away and Goodwood won the cup. Second in Ron Zeno. Count Scenario probably third just in advance of Rainbow Hunter and they were being followed by Torbellino Tonka. Further back to Brave Chief and Toro. Wider out was Boot it being followed then by Marjase. Well back Zoquita followed by Let Me Pass. Further back in the run was Monterey Bay from Sergris. Well back Mac Joey with Sir Knight and Ancient City is one of the last ones home in the cup. Barb Joseph and Goodwood. Oh, and a terrific win there, and uh, all credit to Barbara Joseph. She's actually not notched up three wins today. Aboard, uh, that was uh, Brian York. He's notched up a double. And terrific to take out the 1999 Wagga, Wagga Gold Cup. And also, not to forget that it was the late mail there from uh, Rod Galagas as well, so he's done well to tip that. Cassette to salute. He was in a pack of three. And just waiting for third placing, we've got number two, which is Ron Zeno. But here's the Gunnedar uh, officials on the seventh. One arc was off. There is the starting signal now for the second event of the day. Dunnoon David. Which was number eight, Goodwood. Let's take a short break. Joy and Sky. And that is number two, Miss Kent, which is showing at uh, $3.60 for Brian Callaghan and M. Ward in the saddle. Uh, it ran second at Rose Hill last start. It was a good performance and will be right in this race today, no question. Number three, Denison Ruler for Rodney Quinn at $9.30. Auntie Hilda at $8. Bit of value there for the Nick Suquet, Richard Freer combination. Number five is at 46 to 1. 640 for number six, Chocolate Caruso. Accelerating is at 18. Number eight, Baby Bear has been... Uh, well, it's been tipped a little bit on uh, track here today for Greg McDermott and Jim Cassidy. Baby Bear is showing at $14. Favourite Princess at $16. 13 for Tristelar. Scintillator number 10 is the horse that everyone will be watching for Barbara Joseph because if this horse wins, Barbara will take off the $50,000 trainer's bonus and the $50,000 owner's bonus as well. So there's plenty uh, on offer for this final race. The last couple are about to move in. There's uh, about $163,000 in the wind pool here. So it's uh, been very, very successful this day of racing uh, in Wagga. All righty, now let's take it to Alan Hull for the call of the final race, and when that's over, we'll come back and have a chat with the chief executive of the Murrumbidgee Turf Club, Mick Sullivan, find out uh, just how good these uh, couple of days of racing have been. Anyway, for the final race, good luck punters around Australia. We'll take it to Alan Hull as we look at the market for race four at Albion Park. San Andreas at $2.20, $8 on New South Wales boards, and three forty for number seven, Easy Goal. All right, race eight, Wagga Wagga, marketplace class four handicap, $20,000 up for grabs, plus the bonus possibly for Barbara, here's Alan Hull. Super control on the inside. Thank you very much, Nick, as our Sky Channel viewers join us for the last. Dusk is rapidly ascending upon the Murrumbidgee Turf Club, and in fading light, a field of 18 is set for the marketplace class four. Starter mounting his rostrum, Mr. Bob Vaughan. Red light is on. Blinks like a proverbial beacon. The gates crash back for the last time. Denison Ruler was slow to go from the inside. Favourite Princess and Tough Account got out well. And Abrazar with Gabalan and Baby Bear going fast. Mr. Senator is driving forward into a good position and they're being followed by Chocolate Caruso, who's getting up to be about fifth or sixth in that group as Canny Bell. Now Scintillator is three deep on the outside, advancing forward quickly. The favourite Miss Kent's in that bunch about sixth one off the rail. They were being followed further back then by Kenny Bell from almost a legend. Three deep around Artie Hilda. Dazzle Dancer further back in the field being followed by Super Control. On the outside of those is Trista Lee from Gabalan. Well back is Choo Choo Lane and accelerating is Tyler.